Our next story is somewhat inspirational. Yeah? At least it is to me. We often, you know, search and search for our mission in life. Well, the man you're about to meet found his mission in art, but it was because of the loss of his beloved dog, Mia. Oh. You'll see, like, this place is constantly under construction, and, and I'm the main contractor, so. <laughs> I'm an artist. I'm a creative. Um, I spent many years uh, following a dream of being a musician. For years, I kind of put that to the side. I've always had a love for the arts. I've always had a love for community. And I spent many years as a web developer. There you go. But it made sense to me to uh, kind of lean into something that was more for people rather than for business. Typically you want the model to be up on like a platform. So I'm building it in like two sections. So it could like store underneath the uh, workbenches that we built. And if it wasn't for this building being here and this opportunity of helping establish what this basement became, um, you know, I don't, we wouldn't have had a space to even be. So this is the Mission and Arts Gallery. This is the Mia Gallery. Mission and Arts really was founded after uh, the passing of my dog, Mia. Mia getting sick. She was already getting old, like she lived a nice long life, but with her getting sick and it becoming like a very visual sickness, um, I just, you know, it just kind of lit, lit it for me to just say, you know what, what am I doing? You know, and then it was like so funny. It was like, I'm driving down from upstate New York and all of a sudden it, it's like Mia, Mission and Arts. And I was like, the mission is simple, it's art. So this is Jeff Thomas. He's an artist who moved to Philly in 1960, but he does these incredible uh, transparency paintings. Typically, they're like hung, and you could see through them almost like a wind chime. I was really inspired by the flourishing uh, art community in Philadelphia. Uh, everybody I met at bars or in restaurants or even on the street was some sort of artist. And uh, in some of those conversations, I found that a lot of them didn't really have a place to you know, show or a place to kind of be seen. So uh, I had the opportunity to get this space down in the basement. Right, the gallery is very much so an exhibition space for artists to be able to show off their work. So currently we are showing Emily Royer. Well, she's a phenomenal artist, as you can see from the work. Uh, she's like a fine art painter. Um, I would say like a lot of her work is figurative surrealism. And then the studio is where artists can come and teach their craft. We're working on a paint and sip right now where uh, you'll be painting uh, master painters, renditions of master painters. It's not meant necessarily, you don't have to be an artist, essentially, to take those classes. We've had everybody from doctors come down and, you know. It's a fun thing. Yeah, it's a fun thing, yeah. You know, you have everything from the wheels to the slab roller to the extruder. This is like membership storage space. So Mission and Arts Clay is a member space for uh, clay artists. It's amazing the amount of clay in Philadelphia um, and the amount of uh, artists who work in ceramics here. So the clay studio really is, is a very homey feeling studio. It feels like it's your own personal studio, but it's, it's, uh, we designed it so that it works well for community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Generally, the people I've met so far through Mission and Arts, some of the best artists I've ever met in my life, um, some of the coolest people I've ever met in my life. Our mission is very, very simple. It's, it's just making art accessible and also supporting artists and those who want to learn. So to check them out, you can go to Fifth Street in Old mm -hmm. Kensington or, of course, visit their website, which is on the bottom of our screen. There it is. <laughs> okay.